Welcome back everyone, I went ahead and did this exact same video on my second channel but I figured my main channel has to also, the viewers of this channel need to see this too and Microsoft recently updated their Xbox app in order to actually play and allow you to stream your Xbox Series X and S in the future but currently your Xbox One games onto your console which is so cool. Now not only can you actually play these while you're next to your console but as long as your console is plugged in and connected to Wi-Fi you can actually go across and anywhere in the world and still play your games too from your phone which is a huge huge thing and this is actually better than the PlayStation's remote play in my opinion. Now in order to actually use this it's very easy you just need an iPhone that's over iOS 10 and as long as you have access to Wi-Fi and your Xbox has access to Wi-Fi then you're pretty much good. So what you want to do is first of all you want to go on to your Xbox, you want to go into the settings within your Xbox and make sure it's a 1, 1S, or 1X, and in the future the Series X and Series S. You want to go to your device connections, and then you want to go ahead and click on remote features, and you want to enable remote features. It's a little option right onto that front panel, and as long as you click it, you can also click test connections and all that, but as long as you have that, you're pretty much good to go. Make sure your Xbox is connected to Wi-Fi. And now at this point, you want to go ahead and go to your iPhone and you want to download the Xbox app. It's a very easy app to download. It's not a huge little file. It's just like a little bit. And it should only take a couple of seconds for you to install it. Now, once you actually go and download the Xbox app, what you want to do at this point is you want to go ahead and open the app and it's going to allow you to sign into Xbox. So you want to sign into the same credentials as the Xbox that you're trying to connect to. So if your Xbox has a certain email address associated with it, which I'm sure 99.99% of you guys already have it, you want to go use that same email. If you use a different email to sign up for it, it's not necessarily going to work. So you want to make sure you're signed in with the same credentials and the same gamer tag. And as long as you do that, you go ahead and get into the Xbox app itself and you'll see that you'll see a bunch of things it's like a cool little app i actually like it a lot and you can see the new games they have and all that crazy stuff now what you want to do at this point is you want to click on the top right corner you'll basically see this little Xbox with like Wi-Fi signals emitting from it. That's basically the logo and the icon that you want to click on. So you want to go ahead and click on it and there will be a ton of different options on the bottom portion of the screen. You'll see, you know, play installed games, uses remote control, and then you'll see, I think, remote play. And you want to click on the remote play option. Now you can also experiment and go with the other options too and see what else you can do. Like I said, you can use your iPhone actually as a controller for your Xbox, which is really cool now. And eventually you'll basically be able to go through and you just basically want to wait until your Xbox box comes up on the screen. Now on the iPhone app, it is a little bit of a weird issue. It does kind of take a long time for it, I'm not going to lie. And with the Android app, it's actually a lot better and a lot smoother. But currently, it still pretty much works fine for the most part. Now at this point, you want to go ahead and just go through and at some point the Xbox will come up on the screen and you're pretty much done. Now you can go ahead and connect a Bluetooth controller to your iPhone, which I would recommend doing. You can even connect an Xbox One controller to your iPhone and pretty much use it like that. And that is another huge thing that's a huge feature of iPhones now. Within, I think iOS 12 actually brought that. So you have that capability here, which is really awesome. So that's really pretty much the whole gist of this thing. You can go ahead and play your games from the Xbox app and all that crazy stuff. And you can go ahead and experiment with the other features too. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well, my Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.